your actions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the world of assassination and the subscriber contracts. And today's contract, Lazy Workers Part 1, set in New York. And the contract ID is on the screen now for anyone who wishes to have a go at it, and has been supplied to us today, courtesy of Paul Anderson 37. So on to our briefing, after doing quarterly performance reviews, Athena has made a list of 15 employees who haven't hit their targets. Complete this and you will receive the next contract. So moving on to our targets, and today we have 5 of them, all must be eliminated as the security guard, 3 with a melee combat knife, one with a pistol, and one via an accidental explosion. And we also have only one exit available. We must only get headshots. We cannot change our disguise, and we have no pacifications as our objectives. So for today's challenge, we'll be starting as a security guard. We'll be bringing with us a combat knife, our ever trusty lockpick and a silence pistol. So right from the start and off the bat we're just going to try really and sorry, avoid the these cameras here and make our way down the corridor. Camera. We can't take the cameras out so we are going to have to dodge most of them. We're going to lockpick our way into the gate on our left here. This camera we can deal with, so we'll just get rid of that nice and quickly. We're going to lockpick our way into the storage room, and that will be open for us in a few moments. And then just beyond that room here, we see our first target. He is the pistol kill. So we're going to make our way past. We're going to turn on the photocopier, and we're going to wait just behind these old PCs here and that will get the attention of our target and when he comes in to investigate we're going to wait for him to turn off the copier save on that energy. and then we're going to shoot him in the head uh, nice and high at the top of the head there guarantees a kill hopefully it doesn't always work but if you shoot them at the base of the skull you're less likely to get a killing shot so once target one has been dealt with we're going to hide him in the closet we're going to retrieve the gun he drops and then we're going to make our way back into the security deposit corridor again avoiding the cameras and our next target is asleep in a chair over here and he is a, a melee combat knife kill so we're just going to drop the gun we've collected on the floor behind the counter here select our combat knife we're going to throw that on the floor next to the gun and retrieve it. Yeah, that will wake up right our friend there. over here That'll and when he around. comes to investigate, we can then use the deposit boxes to get around behind him. And once he stops moving, Stay. we can then very, very quickly eliminate him. And we're just going to grab his body and hide him a little bit more behind the counter here. That will probably do. Depending on where he drops, you may not have to move him at all. So, two targets down, three more to go. Uh, we do now need to make our way back out past the cameras here. And we're going to head now up to our next target. And along the way, we're going to go into the storage room and collect the propane cylinder. As our next target is the explosion kill. Here he is now. So again, we have a camera to worry about, but once it's panned away, we can just drop the propane cylinder behind our target, make our way up the stairs, and when the camera pans away once again, we will then take two shots at our propane cylinder, and then we're going to very, very quickly run and hide in the closet just here. Now the reason for this is, uh, in a couple of my practice runs, 
uh, I was somehow spotted doing all of that. Uh, I'm not sure exactly who by or how, but if you jump into the uh, uh, closet very quickly afterwards, it seems to avoid it. We're going to grab the wet floor sign from the janitor and when he slips over we can then retrieve the maintenance keys which will be our exit and once we have that done we can make our way around the corner to where Mr Jackson is we're gonna head into the janitor's storage room grab the either crowbar or the wrench or any of the items lying around open the door throw something on the floor inside that will get the attention of Mr Jackson bodyguard here and when he comes in to investigate we can render him unconscious deposit him in the closet as the janitor will eventually come into this room we can now make our way uh, to the recreation room just be aware of officer Frank there uh, my timing stinks just a little bit but we managed to take out the camera and get into the restroom before he realized what was going on once in here we're just gonna quickly pull out our uh, combat knife and eliminate our final two targets and then we're just gonna casually walk out and close the door behind us we're just gonna wait before we leave for officer Frank and one of the bank director type people who are both enforcers to walk past and then we can return to the area where Mr. Jackson is and our exit is awaiting. So there we go, one more subscriber contract taken care of. Now, I do love running around in New York, it's quite an enjoyable map. So we have confirmation all of our targets have been eliminated according to plan and we have met all of our objectives which will gain us the silent assassin rating. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.